Hello again, everyone. Um, camping was, I would not call it a success. <laughs> it rained from the minute we got there, from putting the tent up to the time we took the tent down. And uh, yeah, we got drenched. We got poured on. Yes, we did. But it's a new day. Uh, it's the third day in the venture. And uh, let's get outside. Let's come outside real quick. And we'll show you our starting location again and explain what it entails. All right, well, as I said, it's the beginning of the venture. Here we are at Finn Rock, where we left off yesterday. Uh, we were just notified that we couldn't go on uh, 242, which would have cut 12 miles off of the route. Today's route's gonna be 62 miles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on the bike, do 12, run up a hill that's about 4,500 feet in elevation. Uh, I'm not sure the name of it uh, right now, but I'm going to run up that 25 miles and then come, come down uh, 25 more on the bike. So we'll see how it goes. How more? I would like to point out right now that we can see our breath, so it is anything but warm. You see this? My. Uh, <laughs> My hair, leg hair, is standing on end. I just had a semi drive by and uh, I'm now drenched on the rear end of my body. Um, I hear that, there it goes again. I hear that when I reach the peak of the mountain today, it's gonna be 39 degrees. So uh, I decided I'd run that because uh, I would like to get the blood flowing just a bit more. I'm shaking, but here I go. All right, boy, it's, it's cold in the car. Let me just uh, let me just turn that heat on the whole way. Yeah, yeah, a little adjust that a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Twelve miles, first twelve done, and the sun is actually out. I don't even know how to handle it. My well, skin. All it took was twelve miles. We went from dense overcast to look at that. Look at the back. Look at the back of Bruce from all the uh, from all the trucks. <laughs> Hold still, man. It's pretty authentic. Though. Look at that. It's great. <laughs> well, we have about 20, 25 miles in running, so there's not really much to say other than it's a bit chilly out. Um, these shorts aren't very accommodating, but uh, they'll facilitate the process anyway. The sun's starting to shine through, so hopefully, I mean, it's not too promising, but hopefully uh, I'll be a little warmer as, as I climb, but I doubt it, so see you then. You know, the funny thing about this is that this is Oregon, and the sun is out right now, as you have seen and can see, and it's probably going to be snowing by the time he gets to the top of the mountain, raining something. The weather's going to completely change. Yeah, most definitely. Here we are at the 10th mile, only two miles uh, after, we just, after we last met, but uh, I felt, as your newfound meteorologist, that I must show you the difference, the variation in weather here. If you look to the left, here you're going to find it's sunny and bright. If you look to your right, you're going to find that there's some sort of storm approaching very quickly. I decided to put some pants on and uh, see how this one goes because I know it's not going to be very fun. Anyway, I'll see you in 15. Well, we're uh, taking a little side detour, seeing a little bit of the scenery. Bruce uh, wanted to and see, that was, uh, that was a massive crow. I have never seen a crow that big in my entire life. Area closed for construction, sorry for inconvenience. Oh. Uh, so, so, we're going <laughs> so, here we go. So Bruce hasn't gotten to really get a close look uh, at the river here. It's a beautiful river, absolutely gorgeous. There's animals everywhere around here. Check that out. This is the 125 mile mark for us. It's really pretty. And Oregon, holding up to its standards, just as beautiful. 
Well, so after that small little detour there, Bruce now has to uh, run 14 miles. So, go Bruce! Here he comes. Ah. Ah, see how he's doing. There you go. Show them this view. That was what, about a four mile ascension? Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it was quite the uh, ascension there. I, I saw, I actually passed some snow. It was great. I think it's about 40 something out here right now. My hands are frozen, so I'm gonna hop on my bike and uh, finish my route to Sisters. Um, I don't know if anybody has noticed yet, but um, there is snow all over the ground up here. If you look up into the woods, it's everywhere. I got a feeling, I got a feeling that means uh, we're getting higher, real high. How did that hill feel? <laughs> I feel like I should be climbing Mount Everest. <laughs> I'll see you in another. That's crazy. It's got to be like 39 degrees out right now. It is cold. Yeah, we must have definitely reached the top of this mountain by now. There is so much snow everywhere, and the entire thing is covered with these black rocks everywhere. Just fields and fields of black rocks. Here comes Bruce. Hey Bruce, did you see that sign? <laughs> the sign that said, sister, 29 miles away. Let's pray it's downhill because it's 30 some degrees. <laughs> Look how much the scenery's changed up here. It's unreal. Bruce is still biking. There he goes. You're doing great, Bruce. You're the man. You're awesome. So, uh, we're just uh, 20 miles outside of uh, Sisters, and, and we got our first uh, news day tomorrow. So that's going to be pretty cool. Tomorrow morning, somewhere around 9.30 or something. So we'll be getting a little bit later start on the day, but I think it'll be worth it for the, uh, the publicity that we'll be getting out of it. So it's a local channel, some, something in Bend. It's like Channel 21 in Bend, Oregon. But either way, hopefully it goes good. <laughs> You're doing great, man. <laughs> it's like the never-ending hill. What? It's like the never-ending hill. This is amazing. I think I've gone about seven miles. <laughs> <laughs> you a little cold? Yeah, I've been sticking my hand on my stomach. <laughs> I barely move my lips. <laughs> And I'm surrounded by snow, and it's snowing. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I got 20 more miles to do. <laughs> it's the never, I don't even know if I can feel my hands. <laughs> I better uh, warm those up real quick. <laughs> well, um, the best part about this is, is you guys can see that this hill goes, you know, really long ways because it's a mountain. But if you look over there, you see <laughs> that the traffic is going there it is you can see one is going up around the top of that so uh that means bruce has to bike all the way up around that and I it is freezing out oregon <laughs> i tell myself every mile i love oregon <laughs> okay all right it is frisked out now it is snowing and starting to sleep Oh man, how you doing Bruce? Well, it's six miles down from here. <laughs> when I get down to the 50 degree area, it's going to feel like it's tropical. <laughs> it's snowing, you, you see that, right? It's like 32. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, it's worth it. It's so worth it. All right, well, I mean, oh, the car is warm. Woo! It's a little warm, might roll the windows down. <laughs> here he comes, here he comes. Bruce, how's it feel to go downhill finally? <laughs> well, man. 
<laughs> yeah, I can't feel my fingers, so um, going to warm them up, and uh, we'll finish the downhill. Okay, cool vids. <laughs> the day is complete. It is snowing ice and sleet, and it is just too dangerous to. Uh, just trying to gain, regain my composure. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tomorrow at 9.30, we have an interview with a TV news station, and uh, I better get some rest for that. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll be back out here tomorrow, probably around 11, 11.30, and uh, we'll head to Bend. So uh, good night. Did good, man. Thank you. Did good. good. <laughs>